Hello crocheters, welcome to Crazy Cool Crochet. This is Sylvia and we are going to be making the Crazy Cool Crochet placement. This uses very simple basic stitches and of course it is super customizable. Choose whatever colors match your color scheme. Think in terms of holidays, red, white, and blue for the 4th of July if you're in America or Christmas colors, or tone it down and use some nice subtle light grays and tans and creams. This could look so pretty in, in, in any color scheme. Now we are going to be using cotton because if uh, you're spilling you know food or drink or whatever it's easier to clean if it's cotton. And I'm using, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. Of course, you can use whatever brand you prefer. It's a number four. And this is gold, sage, and royalty. Using a G-hook or a 4.25 millimeter and some scissors. Now I'm going to be making this in a, a typical size, which is about 14 by 19. And of course, you can change that up to whatever size you prefer. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we start with a chain of 71 in the green and then we'll do a row of single crochet skip the first chain don't count the loop on the hook there's the first one and in the second chain do a single crochet and a single crochet in each chain across all the way to the last chain and you will have 70 single crochets at the end of the first row chain one and turn and now we're going to do three more rows of single crochet so you're going to start the first one into that very first space and then a single crochet into each space across the row so you're going under the two strand chains that form at the top. And again, you will have 70 single crochets. That's the count for the entire placement. 70 single crochets in each row. Four total rows in green. Then we will change to the gold. At the end of row four, Go ahead and start your last single crochet. You've got two loops on the hook. Now we're going to bring in the gold. Now with the gold, you're going to complete that last single crochet. Pull the yarn through, chain one, and then we'll turn. Now it's up to you if you know how to carry the yarn up. We're only going to do two rows of the gold, so it's okay to carry the yarn up, or if you prefer, you can cut the green yarn and then reattach it when we come back to it. So for now, we're going to turn and then do two rows of single crochet in the gold, exactly the same as we have been. Now, after you completed your two rows in the gold, you would have cut off the gold yarn, attached the green yarn, and done one row of single crochet in the green. That's where we are now. Then you chain one and turn. We're going to stay with the green, but now we're going to switch off to an extended single crochet. And that's what we will be working for the remainder of the body of the placemat. So we're going to alternate one row of single crochet, one row of extended single crochet, one row of single, one row extended. Okay, so now we're going to do the extended single crochet. So you enter into the first space, pull up your yarn, two loops on the hook. Now instead of going through both loops, you only go through the first loop. So now you've got two loops on the hook again, go through both loops. Okay, let's do that again. Two loops, go through one loop, go through two loops. That's an extended single crochet. One, two. One, two. 
super simple, but it creates a really cool texture. So just do that all the way across. When you get to the end, chain one turn and then do a row of single crochet, chain one turn, a row of extended single crochet, keep alternating. Okay, so you would have worked the body for 10 inches. It's just easier to work with inches rather than count these many rows. Okay, so work for 10 inches, end on a single crochet row with the green, attach the gold, do the two single crochets in the gold, cut off the gold, go back to the green, do your final four rows of single crochet in the green, and then cut off the yarn. So just remember for the last two gold and then the last four green, it's just straight single crochet, just like in the beginning. Now we're going to put on a fun little border. And I'm using blue. So you will attach the yarn right side facing you. Here's the right side. This is the tail from the foundation chain which makes this the right side. So now attach the blue. And we're going to attach it where you left off, where you cut off your green. And chain one to lock it in. Now we're going to work with reverse single crochet, also known as the crab stitch. So we're working single crochets, but we're going backwards. We're going in reverse. Okay, so now insert the hook into the next space or the first space. Grab the yarn, pull it through, two loops on the hook, pull the yarn through both loops for a regular single crochet. That was kind of messy. Okay, now in the next space, remember you're going backwards. Insert the hook, pull the yarn through, two loops on the hook, pull the yarn through both loops for a single crochet. Same thing in the next one, pull the yarn through, pull through both loops. So it might feel a little awkward at first if you've never done this, but it's quite simple. Two loops on the hook, pull the yarn through both loops. You're working backwards. Okay, so do that all the way around, all four sides. Then when you get back, you'll just attach with a slip stitch, but I will show you that when we come around. Now, as you're working along the short edge, that one's going to look a little bit different where you're entering your stitches. Okay, so now you're going to enter it into the end of that row. There is another space. And then go into the, there's one row that's more closed off and one row that's more open. You're going into each of those. There's the closed off row, there's the open row. Right now I've gone all the way around and I'm back where I started. And I'm going to enter one last reverse single crochet and then slip stitch into that first stitch it's a little tight there we go now do a chain and then cut off the yarn Pull the yarn through, squeeze it down, 
And now you'll come around the back and weave it through the blue here so it doesn't show. So there we go. That last finishing touch is absolutely just perfect. How cute is that? Now before I let you go, while I have a captive audience, <laughs> I hope you don't mind I'm calling you that, I want to show you or remind you in case you haven't seen this, I have published a book. It's fiction called Surviving the Day of Destruction, Apocalypse to New World Earth. And it's a full-size book. I would love it if you would go to Amazon and take a look. I will leave a link below the video in the white space if you want to head over there. Thank you so much for that. Now be sure to tune in for the next project. Thank you.